Hello my friends and welcome back. It is Spellbinders kit time. So we are going to do 10 cards using the Let's Celebrate Spellbinders July 2019 card kit. And I apologize in advance. My video is a little bit dark. I had a light go out and it's been super gloomy here in North Idaho for the last few days. So you get to see that in my video. Sorry. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through the kit because I'm sure you've seen the unboxings already. I haven't seen too many 10 card kits. So I'm hoping I'm kind of ahead of the game here but I wanted to get these out for you before I headed back to work this week so here are the things that are included I tried to use the stamp set tried to color that mermaid you'll see me have to save that card because I totally messed that up beautiful papers love this kit bright bright colors um, nice 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 kit super cute so we're gonna get into card number one and I love this pattern paper and so I wanted to try to use it as much as possible. I also pulled out some wave dies that came from, I believe it was a Karen Burn, Karen, I cannot say her name, Bernenstein, Bernenstein, um, uh, card, card making set that I'd gotten quite some time ago. And now I'm just going to start layering on my pattern paper. So I'm going to put down my base. I used my stitched rectangle dies and those, uh, I had a question the other day about where I got them. I got them from Cat Scrappiness. So if you have not been over to her shop, she has some really good deals on some of the um, basics for your card making. So you can pick up some dies over there. And I'm just going to kind of start, like I said, I'm layering things up using the colored cardstock that came in the kit to kind of border everything. I also made myself a little banner here. I wanted something kind of poking out of the, poking out of the side. And just going to layer up just a white piece there. But before I place it onto my mat, I'm going to put down some waves. I love these little narwhals. Um, a lot of the stuff that's in this kit, so there's some above the water stuff and below the water stuff. So um, I had to try to kind of switch gears quite a bit because I wanted to use everything and that was the goal. So for this 10 card kit and hopefully for every card kit that I do from here on out, I've got a couple of things that I wanted to try. One will be some type of an interactive or fun fold. The other is to make sure that I always do a shaker card um, and then also try and use everything that comes in the kit at least once. So here is some of the ephemera that and a bunch of the pattern paper. So I'm using a whole bunch of that on this card. And here's a close up. Isn't he just the cutest thing ever? That little narwhal just cracks me up. For card number two, I did this is my attempt at the stamp set. Totally bombed this little mermaid. Um, had the idea for what I wanted. I wanted her, I made myself a rock. You can see that kind of off to the side right there because I wanted her kind of above, you know, in the water above, but with the sand in front, it was a whole process. Didn't work out. So I'm going to save this card because I did not want to start over. And this is just a white panel. I put a little bit of blue. Um, I think it was, I want to say it's not the distress one. I think it is the oxide. And I just kind of went around it and now I'm saving this. So I'm going to completely cover up my ugly mermaid because I just did a horrible job coloring her. There's my homemade rock and my sand. I'm just going to layer these up because I wanted her kind of peeking up above the rock onto the beach just so that, you know, I just thought it would look really cute. And I'm also going to frame this with some of that silver mirrored cardstock that came in the kit as well. I want to place some little splashes around like she's kind of hanging out on the rock, splashing her tail. And I thought I wanted to put that little uh, flamingo floaty somewhere, but I changed my mind. So he's just going to kind of sit off to the side. I'm going to pop up these little starfish in front of the rock. And then I'm also going to pop up sunshine vibes and some of the hashtags. And I'm just going to kind of place the hashtags around the sand just to kind of fill it in a little bit. And that will pretty much do it for my You Are Mermazing card save that I had to do here. Um, I tried to use my Zig Clean Color Markers to color her and that just, it just did not work out. So luckily this ephemera 
fits right on top of it to cover up my mistake and still make the card that I was planning on making. So there it is. Also for the sand, uh, you'll see a couple more cards in here. One of them, I, one of the cards I tried to make the sand with just using my Copic markers and it came out horrible. So the, the sand that you'll see there is um, taking distress inks and just splattering and then some white paint and splattering that as well. So now we're going to make a shaker. And for the background of the shaker, I just again used the Distress Oxide inks and I splattered on some white paint. I cut out a frame using the cardstock that came in the kit, backed it with some acetate, and um, I also cut out another frame with the silver. And now I'm just going to kind of speed through because I'm going to decorate the inside and then I'm going to decorate the outside of the frame. So this is just kind of speeding along and showing you because I put the acetate on before I worked on the middle. I want to, I'm just keep placing it over to make sure that I'm still where you can see everything and I'm not like out to the frames. So I'm just going to, these are just all little ephemera pieces that came in the kit. There's so many of them. You can do so many cards and I have a whole pack still left over afterwards, which was being a little bit um, stingy because when my granddaughter comes um, we're going to make some cards with what I had left over. So this is my own little sequin mix that I made. I'm so proud of myself because I thought it came out so cute and the colors just match absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to place my frame over that, shake it up a bit and I did glue down a few you know kind of like bubbles around it just so that there was some of those shaker pieces up above and I attached my silver frame to the outside of my blue frame and now I'm going to start decorating the outside of the frame just so that I have stuff on the in and the out and I'll just kind of speed through this as well just so you can see where I placed everything some of this stuff is uh, glued directly to the frame and the acetate and then there's some other pieces that are popped up and this glue I'm using art glitter glue in case you're wondering and it does dry completely clear so you don't see it at all and you'll notice that because I did um, on some of these cards I used some of those uh, pretty pink posh uh, bubbles because I they just went perfectly with this kit and I you'll see them um, at first when I use them you'll see the white glue behind the clear bubbles but then as it dries when you see the actual picture of it they're completely clear and you don't see it at all Love my art glitter glue, which I need to order some more before it gets cold because they won't ship it when it's cold. Decided to put that sentiment up in the corner. I didn't want to cover up any of my the inside of my shaker card, so I was having a really hard time finding where to put my sentiment on this. A couple of these other ones in here. I like these little hashtags. They're super cute. Now I'm going to trim off my things that are hanging over, and that is going to do it for my shaker card. And you can see what I'm talking about with the gloomy light, but luckily the pictures came out better because I took them under better lighting, and then plus having the photo, the photo editing stuff to kind of bring out some of the light. I will fix my lights, I promise. So for my next card, um, this is the beachy scene, and this is the one where I kind of I tried to do the sand with the Copic markers and I did that off camera. I didn't do it on camera because once I finished the card I, I thought this doesn't look like sand. So I tried to fix it with the Copics and then totally I don't like it but the rest of the sand um, I made the right way. So I'm just layering up my pieces because I love this pattern paper and I need to use as much of it as possible. Made myself a little circle, realized after I attached it that I didn't put my sand on. So very carefully, got to pull that half circle up, which luckily it came off without destroying too much of the paper. And now I'm just going to attach my sand to the circle and trim that down. Now I want to put my sentiment. I'm going to pop that up and then just kind of start gluing my pieces around my sentiment, that seashell, sand, and sunshine. So I tried to find a bunch of the above ground kind of like beachy pieces of ephemera to place around that. I think that that little flamingo floaty is adorable. I actually saw one at Michael's the other day. I'm going to pick it up for my granddaughter because when she comes at the end of the month we're going to the we're going to go to the lake. So I'm going to get her a flamingo floaty for the lake. I'm going to put some of these sparkly 
circles on here and that will finish off this card. You'll see in a minute that I did try to go in and do some different browns and whites. Don't I hate it. Absolutely hate it. But you can't really notice it that well. So for card number five, we're going to do a fun fold card. And this is just a step card. And it's the one inch on either side, one inch up. And then you score at one, score at two, score at six and a half, and score at five and a half in between the cuts. I know um, that's a little fast explanation for it, but there's so many step card tutorials um, out there that I, I, I will have another one soon that I will show you because I did a variation of the step card and you will see that all um, coming up here at the end of the month but for now um, if you really want to see how to do this there's a bunch of different tutorials out there so we're just going to do all our folding now I cut down my pattern paper to fit inside those folds so you do your mountain your valley and your mountain folds and I'm going to use my bone folder to crease those score lines down and this is the base of the card. So this is pretty much done. Um, and now I'm just going to start speed through and just kind of decorate. And so you've got all these different levels to decorate. And it makes it really fun looking under the C card. So some of them I popped up. Some of them I glued down. Now I'm going to start placing my little C creatures. And then before I get too far, I need to put my sentiment in there. So luckily... I did not mess up the sentiment. I was going to be really sad if I did. But it came out just fine. Now we're going to place down our little sea creatures and my fish. I did go back later after I finished it because my daughter was like, it's not sparkly enough as usual. So I did go back and add some sparkles, which you will see. Oh, and I used some glossy accents on those bubbles on the background. So you'll maybe be able to see that in the picture, the close up, hopefully. So you can see the glossy accents, you can't see the sparkle, but I did sparkle up um, her tail fin and the fish with some Wink of Stella. So for our next card, we're going to be using the dies that came in the Spellbinders kit. I also did a little background on this circle using that really cute, I forgot I had that stencil, but it came out really cute. And I used some different glitters on it just to make it sparkle and that's just kind of going to go off to the side so I can show you how to put together your mermaid. I don't like the mouth or the cheeks that um, you can cut out for this so uh, basically what I did was I just cut out the eyes from black. I use a white gel pen to dot the eyes. I use a little light pink pencil which you can't see it very well from here but you will be able to see it on the photo and when I lift it up you can see that the cheeks get really cute and um, I used a black gel pen there's like a little embossed smile right there and I just used the gel pen to go along the smile and that's how I did her face because I just don't I think the lips on the and the cheeks are just too I don't know they're too weird they look weird to me so I didn't use them but they're they're there for you if you if you like them. Then you can cut those out from some pinks and use them. So now I'm just gluing down her hair to her body, and then I will speed the rest of this up. At least I hope I sped the rest of this up. Yeah, I did because this is just piecing. So it just depends on how you want to decorate your mermaid. You can either do the pattern paper on the bottom, sparkly on the top. Two. You, you can do the, I meant cardstock, do a couple different colors of cardstock, whatever you like. For this one, I did two mermaid cards. For this one, I did the silver mirror on the bottoms and then used the purple on the tops. On the other one, I reversed it so that the silver mirror is on top and the pattern, uh, not pattern, the colored cardstock's on the bottom. And now I'm just putting together the pieces that are going to go in her hair and the bubbles. And I did back, like some of them I used like multiple layers just to back it and give it a little more interest. And now we are going to attach our card together. So there's my pattern paper and I'm just going to place my circle. All of this is just going to go flat onto the card. And then the mermaid I'm going to pop up. So I'm going to put a bunch of foam adhesive behind her and pop her up right in the middle. Voila. And then I thought I wanted to use the white um, 
sentiments off to the side but hated the way it looked peeled it off and went with shellabrate and took my little shell that I made set it on the sign and put my bubbles and now I'm gonna put some of the clear pretty pink posh bubbles and some sequins to decorate around my little mermaid which I think she is adorable and unfortunately I th I'm pretty sure that the picture you'll be able to see a um, little bit better but the color she's just really bright the colors on these are so bright but my lighting is terrible and hopefully that shows you a little bit better how that one goes on to card number seven so another one where I'm layering things up because I want this one so this one I wanted to do above and in the water you know uh, it, this one was a little bit challenging for me because I needed I needed to use this narwhal I needed to use every narwhal that they gave me in this kit so that was my goal with this particular card so I did some more of the ocean waves then I'm gonna do some more ocean waves kind of pop that up I added the sand to it before I popped it up so it would all be even and that's the sand that I did using just splattering different colors of distress ink on it and the white um, white paint now I'll put my splashes around and now I'm just gonna decorate the ocean floor some seaweed and some shells and my turtles and my starfish because the sentiment is sending oceans of love so I wanted to put as much ocean in there as I could I also added some more of those bubbles from pretty pink posh and that is going to do it for my sending oceans of love card I think he's so cute. Look at that narwhal. I just love that narwhal. Love him. So on to the next card. So this is um, a lawn fawn die. It's that like one that has the windows peeking, but I never use the windows. I just like the, the actual frame. And I'm just going to layer up some pattern paper. And I'm going to put some of the ocean waves on the bottom of the frame. And then, like I said, I wanted to try to use everything in the kit. So now I'm going to use these, a uh, few of these very thick, these are very thick, and of course I had to use the narwhal again. Um, they're not chipboard, but they're thick like chipboard, and they're kind of stickers. So I'm just going to kind of layer up all these guys here. I'm also going to grab some of my ephemera pieces. I'm finally going to use that little... What do you call him? Flamingo, little flamingo floaty. Finally, going to use him. Tuck, tuck him behind the waves, and then I wasn't sure what to do up in that corner, and I had cut out a bunch of the seaweed and flowers that came with. It comes with your die set for your uh, mermaid, so I decided to do a little garden of seaweed and flowers and shells up here in this top corner, kind of around sentiment. And a couple of flowers. starfish add my little flowers and I think that is gonna do it for this card there's close up so I like I said trying to use everything in the kit so love the mermaids gotta use her one more time and I did not show you um, the coloring of her, but you can see the reverse. This time the the cardstock is on the back and the shiny paper is on the front, but basically the construction is the same. And now I'm just going to layer up my pattern papers. And for this one, um, again, I want her to be holding the sentiment, so I'm going to pop her up in the middle of her little panel right there. And then I'm going to use some glue and some foam behind it have her holding fabulous and then I want that piece to go behind the fabulous so I'm just gonna attach that right behind the word just to kind of give that sentiment of backing behind what she's holding and then I'm going to attach that to my card base and then I'm going to put you are a treasure I'm going to pop that up below fabulous add a couple of 
sparkly gems. I kept forgetting that I had these, or else I probably would have added them to every card, but I kept... They were kind of off to the side, and I wasn't paying attention. And that's going to complete that card. And she's so cute. I love that mermaid. My, my granddaughter's going to love that mermaid. For card number 10, kind of a funny story here, but... I'm just going to use a bunch of pattern paper and use those fat stickers again. So I'm just kind of showing you that I cut up. Those are a little less than an inch each, and I cut five of them so that they will fit kind of evenly across the paper. But I finished my whole ten cards, um, cleaned up my mess, made my photographs, started you know uploading all of my photographs and my video to my computer and then I realized why is there only nine cards I totally forgot to make the tenth card so being as dedicated to ten cards as I am I pulled all my stuff back out and made the tenth card so when you see the final video um, at the end where I do show you all the cards there's only nine of them there because this little guy didn't get made until the rest of it was completely done but I wanted to add it in so that you saw 10 cards and not 9 cards. So this is the 10th one. And like I said, I love this pattern paper. So I wanted to use a whole bunch more pattern paper on here. And then of course my tape gun decided to run out right on the last thing. So I'm going to just tape down these. And I kind of started on the outside edges and worked my way into the middle so that everything would be even. I wanted you to be able to see the panel kind of peeking around each one of these pieces. So like I said, these are just slightly smaller than an inch in um, width. Now I'm just going to add my silver to my card panel, trim that down, put my centers, these are some stitched ovals, again, cat scrappiness. Add my panel to my card base, and it looks awesome right now. I don't even have to go any further, but I'm going to. So I, I wanted to use both of these mermaids, but they didn't fit exactly the way I wanted them to, so I'm going to do a little little surgery that I'm going to cut out so you don't have to watch me cut her hand off, and then play, place both of my mermaids on there. And then we're going to do a little sparkly shinies all around. I'm also going to add some sequins to this just to kind of finish, finish off the sparkle. And then that will complete my card number 10 without you having to see me cut her hand off. And there it is. See, it just looks like she's holding you shine. It's perfect. Here's a close-up of this one. And then I'm just going to run through all 10 cards real quick and show you them. I will be doing another video using the small and the large die. I have three cards planned, but unfortunately I ran out of time before I got to go back to work. So I will not be able to upload that video um, until next week. So um, this 10 cards is all I'm going to be able to upload this week, and I will have the other one later. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you guys like these cards. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Um, I really do appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I am trying to hit 10,000 and once I hit 10,000, I'm going to do a huge giveaway. So um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And again, I thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Leave some comments below. I try to answer them as best I can and I will see you again very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.